Imagine joining a movement where there are thousands of people coming together, thousands of people from all walks of life learning how to be leaders and working together to create real change for our immigrant and our allied communities. Join Cosecha. We're looking for people who are interested in a once-in-a-lifetime experience and are willing to make the commitment to fight together. We're going to be planning, traveling, taking action, doing trainings across the country, and spending time with immigrants all over the place. We're also going to be fighting and defying the odds to win permanent protection, dignity, and respect for immigrants across the country. In order to make this happen, we need you. So I think I always dreamed about doing something bigger. I always dreamed about being part of something important, and Cosecha has really given me that opportunity in a way that I haven't had before. The Cosecha strategy, it's very ambitious. You know, like we want to engage from eight to 10 million workers. We're organizing for a general strike and we're trying to replicate what happened in 2006 to get millions of people out on the streets in support of undocumented immigrants. Immigrant workers, immigrant families, they feel centered in, in the idea of, of a strike and they immediately start to envision what that actually looks like. I think what I really love about being a volunteer organizer with Cosecha is that I'm able to be in community with other organizers that I really respect. A part of what's different about Cosecha is that we're not just trying to get membership, we are really trying to build that community of solidarity in the immigrant rights movement. Being a guide to uh, Minneapolis and the Homestead team, it's more or less about just checking in on them and providing that support. Uh, I do a lot of different things throughout the day. Our day starts with a coordination meeting, making sure we're all on the same page, and then I spend the rest of the day working in teams. And at the end of a big campaign, uh, we always close with appreciations. This week has been about getting ready for an action where we're going to be dancing salsa at a store. I get to try new things. I, I'm actually trying to replicate what's in the history books. What people did in South Africa, what people did in Serbia, what people are doing in Latin America. I am trying to do that in this country and I've never had the opportunity to do that before. And right now we're building towards a migrant boycott. Um, so we're learning from uh, a lineage of many movements. We get a huge amount of organizing support, both in figuring out how do we move our campaigns forward, but also particular skills. We dictate the work that we do ourselves, and that means we really get to do the work that we love. This is not about working by yourself, it's about working with others and being able to build and create this movement. As a volunteer organizer, we receive housing, we receive food, and a small stipend of $50 a week. And we do this because we believe in voluntary simplicity, which we'll learn from the farm workers movement. Uh, we actually call the New Jersey Cosecha House also a community center. To us, the house is really the backbone of the volunteer organizing network, in the sense that while we don't uh, have a salary, uh, we know that we're gonna have a place to sleep, we know that we're gonna have meals, no one works alone in our community. We all work in different teams to support one another and to offer our different skills and gifts. I'm in the communications team and I get to talk to reporters. I reach out to different artists to build the Cosecharte network. I'm also part of the communications team. Currently, I'm part of the migrant boycott team. I coordinate the volunteer organizing network. And I help get communities ready to take action in the streets. Join our amazing network of volunteer organizers. Make sure to sign up now.